Alright, welcome to what could be the most complicating and confusing tutorial in Minecraft history by Sergeant Thomas. I'm just kidding. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial that might, it actually might be a little confusing to some people, I don't know. But this is a tutorial showing you guys how to make the combination lock that I, you guys have seen in my old world, or my other world, whatever you want to call it. And some of you guys have requested I build it. So I'm going to show you guys how to build this combination lock. As confusing as it is, I have dreaded building this thing uh, and recording a while trying to build it because it's very confusing. Uh, but this part you see here, which I'm about to build over there, this part of it is not my design. This is CMB Minecraft's design, this part of it. So I just got to put that out there because I don't want people to be like, oh, that's not your design, this part. Uh, yeah, this part ain't, so yeah. But uh, what you're going to do is uh, make a wall or if you already have an existing wall just place nine buttons in it and then go behind there and place nine redstone torches and now we're gonna make it to where each button that activates each torch work individually so that they don't cross paths or anything like that since they're so close together the buttons and the torches so starting with the top middle torch we're gonna take this wool and place it like that put a, a dot of redstone dust there and we're gonna put a repeater right there and another piece of redstone dust there and this will continue but I'll continue it as we go but that's as far as we're gonna go right there for this second so that's the middle top torch and now for the top left and top right torches we're gonna take more wool and place them right here place some down here lead it down like that and you're gonna take some redstone dust do that with it on both of these and then put a repeater here facing out from the back of this device okay so that's all three of the top torches and now with the very middle torch here we're gonna place a piece of wool here and we're gonna go inside spin around and place a repeater on top of that wool and in front of that wool and repeater put another dot of redstone dust and then try and place a block of wool on that so it does that And some people are probably like, what, how did that work? And, and like, if you're not, like, good with redstone or you don't understand it, basically what happens is that torch is powering that repeater, and the repeater is powering this block, which then powers the redstone underneath it. I know it's kind of weird, but that's how it works. Uh, so now, that's that middle torch. Now the middle left and middle right torches, we're going to place wool here and here, there and there. And we're going to put repeaters like that facing out away from each other. One facing that way, one facing that way. Then you're going to take redstone, place it there on both of them. And you're going to take two repeaters, place one there and one there. Go back over here and do the same thing. Okay, so now we got all six of these working individually. Now we're down to the bottom row of torches. Starting with the center bottom torch, I need to knock out this block, knock out that one, all the way through, and we're going to take a dot of redstone dust, place it there, put a repeater right there, and then bring the redstone all the way out to here. And you can bring it up and then put a repeater in front of it. So now all these are lined up. And now, with the, the bottom left torch and the bottom right torch, in between these wool blocks, place redstone dust there and there. And again with repeaters, there and right there. <clears throat> and so that should leave us with, I think, eight, <clears throat> eight points right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But we need nine. And the ninth one is this, again, the first thing we did was the middle top torch and now we need to bring it down to here so what we're gonna do 
make like a stairway down here like that and now lead this redstone dust down to there and place one more repeater right there so now each one of these buttons will work individually and not you know connect with any other ones you know they won't interrupt one another and you don't have to do this next part you could actually just lead the redstone to the next thing that I'll be building but if you want to you can build this again it doesn't matter but place if you're gonna build it place just wool in front of these repeaters and place torches on top of these and you can put note blocks so that when you hit one of those buttons you'll hear a note and I'll show you that in a second once I get them all placed okay so now when I hit this button you can see that torch was activated but for some weird reason it activates three uh, note blocks and I'm guessing it's because they're touching each other which is inappropriate around here I'm just kidding uh, but you see the, how they all three work I don't know why it does that I haven't built one of these in a while the last time I built one was quite a while uh, ago and it didn't do that if I remember right I'm, I believe only one would go off which you would imagine what happened but it ain't that big a deal I don't know that's again why I say you don't need them because I don't even think they're working properly uh, but from there now we're gonna place repeaters in front of those uh, blocks of wool with the torches on them that are not lit up and this is where it gets confusing so here we go We got nine buttons here, but I'm not going to use all nine buttons because a nine button combination would be very confusing and you probably wouldn't be able to remember it. So I'm going to use three buttons like I did in my old world where people saw this device and wanted me to build it. And I don't remember the, the combination. I think it was this button, this button, and then that button, for example. Uh, but what it's going to do is say, for example, this button will unlock the one device and then this button will unlock the next device and then this button for example will open the doors and so now we're gonna build the doors that are gonna open and we're gonna build them right here so we can see them when we try to make this thing work to me that was actually the easy part uh, this is kinda where it gets a little confusing so if I cut in the video certain parts, that's because I had to stop and think and test something. But we're going to use these iron doors. We're going to make it toward they open and close with a button and then make it toward that button gets locked where they won't open and close, basically. Okay, so now, actually we'll go back over here and we'll build the mechanism that will make these doors open and close and again I'm not the best at making tutorials so if you're confused I'm not surprised but we're gonna place two blocks directly under the doors two blocks there and two blocks there got two blocks two block gap in between them and you're gonna place two torches like that now you're going to place redstone on top of these blocks. And sometimes this stuff's tricky. Let's see if I get it right. Do this. Connect all that. Bring some redstone out. And put a torch there and a torch there. And I got it right. See if I would have put these torches you see here on this side the doors will get stuck open so if you're if you build this and your doors are both stuck open take your torches off from one side and put them on the other side and it will fix it okay so there's the doors that are gonna open and close let's actually let's do this we're gonna use the very bottom right button to actually open and close those doors and that's this one and so what I'm gonna do now is bring this redstone this way 
And I know this stuff's all spread out everywhere, but that's just obviously to give you guys the tutorial and show you how to build this whole thing. Uh, you can kind of make this more compact depending on the space you have, but that depends on the space you have, so yeah. I'm just spreading this thing out so I can show you guys. Alright, now we're going to build a, a flip-flop. We're going to build it right here. So I'm going to knock out three blocks. And I'm going to place a non-sticky piston there and a non-sticky piston right there. And now I'm going I'm to put a block next to that one, a block next to that one, a repeater into the one on the left, redstone here, don't forget to put redstone right there or it won't work. And then you're going to put a torch on this side where you see the repeaters right here. Make sure you put it on this side and not this side or it won't work. So you got to place it there. And now you're going to place a block there and right there. And now let's test, actually hold on. Let's actually connect this. And see we got to connect this redstone coming out of this flip-flop to the side that is not lit up. See how this side isn't lit and this side is? You gotta connect it to the side that is not lit up. And I know I'm gonna need a repeater here. Uh, need another repeater. Okay, now let's test this. Door on the bottom, or the button on the bottom right. Now the doors have closed and they stay closed. And now they will open and stay open. And now the next step is to make it to where those doors, when I lock them, they, they don't open with the bottom right button until you put the right combination in. And what, what we want to do is make sure the doors are closed when you do this. Okay, the doors are closed. And also, something I want to mention too like just like that thing if you put the torches on the wrong side the doors get stuck open uh, sometimes if you like if I was to build what you see here on this side and then put the, the repeater on this side sometimes these things act weird and you just gotta flip everything around like take the repeater off this side and put it on this side and it will fix it sometimes it acts really glitchy so if it's not working right and it it moves and then moves back it's because you just need to flip everything from one side to the other. I know it's probably confusing to you guys. I'm sorry. Okay, next step. Hopefully you guys are still with me here. All right. Seeing how this flip or this piston is not extended, this is the one that we're gonna put a sticky piston behind, like that. You're gonna leave a space in between when this sticky piston isn't extended. And now we're going to lead redstone from this sticky piston over here somewhere. And we're going to lead it over to a flip-flop. Another flip-flop, just like that thing. So we're going to knock out three blocks again. Place one there. Place one there. Um, let's try it on this side. Put the repeater. Let me go to sleep because it might be too dark for you guys. I don't know. It's not dark to me, but I know I don't have the same TV or the same TV settings as everybody else, so it might be too dark for you guys. Hopefully now it's not too dark. All right. So we got two pistons, the two blocks, the repeater, and we're gonna bring the redstone out. Don't forget to put it in there again. Torch there. Two blocks. Alright. And so now this is going to go back over here to one of these buttons. Now let's see which button. Let's say this, this middle top one. And that's this far repeater here. Bring it across, bring it down, so I don't need all this, and need a repeater here, it was dying, 
Okay, oh, need another repeater here. Alright, see how that piston, the sticky piston, extended and grabbed the back of this piston? Now when I hit this... What was it, top right? Or no, it was the middle button. It should flip-flop and pull it back. And see how this piston pulled back? And it pulled the non-sticky piston back? Now when I hit the bottom right button, which is supposed to open and close those doors, it's not going to open now. See, because that piston can't extend and make the flip-flop work to open those doors. So, essentially, it's locked right now. But it would be easy for someone to come over here and just start hitting buttons, find this middle button, hit it, make the piston extend, and then hit this button, and then make the doors open. So what I'm going to do is close these doors back, hit the middle button, it's going to lock, and now we got to figure out how to lock this one. And see, it's this piston here, which is not extended. And so what I'm going to do, again, since all this redstone's in my way, I could move it and maybe go down, but I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to come up. Let's see. Put it here. Whoa. So now when this piston comes down and grabs that one, when I want it locked, it's going to pull it up out of the way, and it's going to make it locked, which you'll see here in a second. So now I'm going to bring redstone from here down, and i got to make yet another flip-flop. This is going to take a third flip-flop. This will be the last one, and so now I'm going to place the pistons again. Peter, it's down. Torch, two blocks, redstone out of here, connect it, and now I'm going to bring this back. And which button am I going to make? So we got the middle one, the bottom right. I'm just going to go with this top left one. Again, you can do this in any combination you want. So which one is that? that this one? Yeah, it's this one right here. Okay, so what do I need repeaters? We need one right here. Okay. Now let me press the top left. Alright. So now, the, as I said before, the bottom right button is supposed to open and close the doors. But it cannot work, again, because it is locked. And you see, that uh, T flip-flop, or not T flip-flop, but that flip-flop there locks and unlocks this flip-flop. And once this flip-flop is unlocked, and you press the right button, it then unlocks and locks this flip-flop, which then can unlock or open and close the doors. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys were able to follow me on that. It, it's kind of confusing. There's multiple ways to do this. But that's I've tried recording this tutorial so many times now. Uh, I feel like that was, you know, my best attempt right there. Uh, but basically now, if I wanted to walk up and open these doors, and you don't have to use the two iron doors. You could use different style doors. You could use wooden doors, which you can open with your hand. But you pretty much you get what I mean. Uh, you can use like sliding doors using pistons or secret doors even. But uh, now we're gonna, sh I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. So I'd walk up to this, and I would hit the top left button, and you see the flip-flop, it unlocked that flip-flop now, and now I'm gonna hit the, the middle button, t the top middle, and as you see, it unlocked the whole entire thing now. So now the doors will open and stay open. You can go in there, do whatever, come out, close it, and you just do the, you just do it backwards now. Then you hit the middle button, and then you hit the left button, and now it's all locked again. So now when someone comes up, they can't get in. And I mean it's not impenetrable, if you will. I mean it's Minecraft. If somebody has a tool and they can, you know, knock walls down, they can obviously get in there. But you know it's just something cool to build, and having it being three buttons, it's pretty 
it'd be pretty hard for someone to know which three buttons to hit in the right combination because if you hit this middle button before you hit the left button it ain't gonna do nothing see that flip-flop over there is un it's locked right now because that piston is not where it needs to be until you hit the left button and then you hit this button and then you hit this button so again, I mean, people could start hitting buttons and probably figure it out, but it would probably take a while, and they would almost have to see all of this working to know whether they hit the right button or not, or they just happen to hit the right buttons, you know, by getting lucky. So, again, I know I'm not the best at tutorials. I'm not a good teacher or explainer. Uh, again, I hope you guys were able to follow me on this. I hope it was helpful. Um, if you guys did find it helpful in any way, like maybe just the flip-flops are helpful or just the buttons themselves or the, the doors or whatever uh, just you know please give the video a like uh, I would it'd be very much appreciated um, if you have any questions leave them in the comments below I'll try to answer it the best I can um, but yeah that's that's how I lock my doors whenever I have like a vault in my house or whatever I've built and I need a vault so that's it um until next time like always thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys later